I got 10 tips for you for your broad jump so you can jump as far as you possibly can. So tip number one, you wanna drop this weight aggressively. Load fast. If you load slow, you will go slow. Load fast, load aggressively to go fast and go aggressively. So when you're here, load that weight as aggressively and rapid as you can so when you go to jump, you can build up that elastic energy and have a lot of pop coming out. Tip number two, use your arms. You want to be aggressive with these arms. So as you're going down, throw these arms down and back as fast and as aggressively as you can. That way you can, again, use that momentum, use that energy to produce force out and up. Tip number three, what you wanna do is keep your weight in the balls of your feet. So as you're loading up, you'll see that my heels will come up ever so slightly, that's just me distributing my weight into the balls of the feet. I don't wanna be in my toes because I can't produce force out of my toes. Definitely don't wanna be flat footed or in your heels because you won't be able to jump out, okay? But I wanna transfer that weight into the balls of, your, balls of my feet as my knees are coming forward. And then as I use everything, loading my weight fast, throw my arms back, then I've built up maximal force and energy to be able to produce and go as high and as far as I possibly can. Now this tip has to do with your knees. As you jump, you want to actively bring your knees through the jump. So as you push off, you want to bring those knees through the jump to allow yourself to reach forward and achieve that distance. So I won't go full, but as you'll see, as I push, I'm gonna bring my knees up and forward so that way I can fly through the air and get as far as I can, okay? As you can see, my knees came up and forward as I went to go into my jump. So this is super imperative because what you don't wanna do is you don't wanna just push off the ground and then have your legs straight and then you just land and plop. That's a big no-no. Bring those knees up, bring those knees through the jump as you fly through the air. Now on this tip, you want to make sure you drop your shins to a 45 to 55 degree angle. Now what I mean by that is as you're loading into your broad jump and your weight's coming down, you'll see that my angles of my shins will start to drop. Now this is important, similar, similar to the 40 yard dash, as I push off, whatever angle my shins are at, that's what I'm going to project through the air out. Air out. So if my shins are too high and I go to push, I'm gonna go straight up. If my shins are too low and I'm too low to the ground, then I'm gonna go out and then probably fall forward. So you wanna drop those knees over your toes and drop those shins down to really launch yourself at that 45 to 55 degree angle depending on your limb length and also how strong you are. The stronger you are, the more optimal angles you will be able to achieve. So that's why it's important to also get stronger in general so you can jump as far as you can. Now and this tip has to do with how you line up. So, you don't want to line up too narrow and you don't want to line up too wide. I find a lot of athletes come out super wide. This is unoptimal because you're not going to be able to get as much force through your glutes and hamstrings as you want and your knees are going to bow in a little too much. Okay, so you want to stand at a width where your feet are underneath your hips. But again, some people are different, so you might need to be a little more narrow or a little wider, but it's not going to be that drastic of a change from under your hips. Now for me, I'm slightly outside my hips, just very slightly, but for me, this is where I feel the most powerful. So do a couple just like bounces, and if you feel like you're weaker in any position, then you're a little too wide or a little too narrow. Find that happy medium where you feel your quads, hamstring, glutes, everything is comfortable, but also as forceful as possible. Again, if you're gonna try to like touch rim or squat, where do you feel the strongest? That's gonna be where you line up, and now I am good to go. So on this tip, it has to do with your chest and your hips. So when you're lining up and you go to push off, you want to bring your chest through the air as if you're Superman, and then follow that up with your hips coming through as well. When you jump, you don't want to bring your chest down because now I'm going to be uh, projecting my body forward, my shoulders are going to be down, and then all that's going to do is my weight's going to go like this and then go straight down. I want to come out where I can project as far as I can and then down, not up and down, okay? So as I'm going through the air, I want to make sure that my chest is coming through the air and I'm extending my hips, okay, through the air. And then earlier tip when I said bring the knees through, everything's gonna work together. So as I jump, my chest comes through the air, my hips come through the air, and then my knees, and that will allow me to jump as high and as far as I possibly can. Now for your broad jump, when you launch off, you want to launch out and up. 
You don't want to just launch up and then come down, and you also don't want to launch too low to the ground, okay? You want to launch out and up so you can achieve maximal distance. What I mean by that is if I go too high up, what's going to happen is I'm just going to go straight up and straight down. And I had a couple feet that I could have still jumped. If I launch out too low, what's going to happen is I'm going to do this and then fall over, and I'm not going to be able to achieve extension. My hips can't come through. No good. I want to be able to launch out and up on a good 45 degree angle so I can jump as high and as far as I can. Now this tip has to do with your landing, okay? You want to squat into your landing after you jump, okay? What I mean by that is as you jump, squat into your landing, okay? This is why it's so important. If you fall backward or if you land and you do this, at that camper combine, they're gonna record your distance based off of where you went backward or they're just gonna fault to you altogether and you're not gonna be able to get a legit distance, okay? And you also don't wanna just land straight because then you're gonna fall over and that's no good either, okay? So what you wanna do is as you're going to land, squat into your landing so you can stick it, not fall forward, not fall back, and now they're gonna measure at your heel and you're all set, good to go. Now this tip has to do with your heels, okay? As you're jumping, you want to bring your heels up towards your butt, and then when you bring your knees through, you can achieve maximal distance. So after you launch and extend, bring your heels up. You want a high heel recovery. You don't want to bring those feet low because see how I'm closer to the ground there? Okay, the closer I am to the ground, the more gravity is pulling me down faster. So as I jump, I want to try to bring everything up so I'm off the ground as high as I can, and as gravity pulls me down, I'm still moving forward with momentum. So achieve that high heel recovery, bringing that heel up to your butt through your jump. Now this is a crucial tip that not a lot of people do or even think about, but again, it has to do with your mind. Visualize, okay? Visualize where you want to jump. So when you line up, pick a spot. Pick a spot that's super far away that you think you barely might be able to reach, okay? For me, it's going to be that little speck of Wait right there and visualize that spot. This is gonna create some mind-body connection, some neural connection through your, through your brain, okay? And subconsciously, your body's gonna literally help you as you push off the ground and float through the air. You wanna create that, that mind-to-body connection and have everything working together. So you pick a spot super far and then you keep your eyes on that spot. Keeping that head up, but keeping your eyes on that spot so that way when you can go jump, you can really try to force yourself to get there. <sighs> Didn't quite get there, but I probably got further than I would have if I had no idea where I wanted to jump.